This is Satyajit Raj from Government Degree College Begumpet explaining you organic chemistry. BSc first year, Unit 2, Structural Theory in Organic Chemistry. Now let us discuss the topic. Bond polarization. Here, the electronegativity is defined as a tendency of an atom participating in a covalent bond to attract the bonding electrons. In order to understand the bond polarization, we have to understand about the electronegativity. What is the definition of the electronegativity? The electronegativity is defined as a tendency of an atom participating in a covalent bond to attract the bond pair of electrons. That is, here, suppose these are the bond pair of electrons. These are the bond pair of electrons. The red balls. Here, the blue color and an atom and the pink color, purple color atom are the two atoms involving the covalent bond. And the blue uh, color atom is strongly attracting the strongly attracting the bond pair of electron toward itself. So, what happens? The tendency of attracting the bond pair of electrons toward itself is called as electronegativity. Whenever the electro at electrons are attracted towards one of, our, one of the atom, then this uh, atoms which are un uh, uh, electrons get uh, unequally shared. The bond pair of electrons gets uh, unequally shared leading to the formation of polar covalent bond. Okay. Now, the polar uh, the Tendency of attracting the bond pair of electron depends on the electronegativity and the electronegativity uh, increases from left to right in the periodic table. From left to right in a periodic table in this way. See here, uh, the fluorine atom, the fluorine atom is having highest electronegativity. The fluorine atom is having the highest electronegativity. Okay. And the electronegativity decreases in a group like this. It is increasing. It is increasing from the left to right. It is increasing the left to right like this. And it is decreasing. Electronegativity is decreasing from top to bottom in a group. Okay. So, fluorine atom, oxygen atom, the fluorine atom and oxygen atom, these are the atoms are having, having highest electronegativity. Fluorine atom, oxygen atom, then nitrogen atom are having the highest electronegativity and the electronegative values you can see here are as fluorine is having a high electronegativity as 4 and uh, now oxygen is having electronegativity as uh, 3 as 3 and uh, 3.5 and uh, nitrogen is having electronegativity 3 so the and chlorine is also having electronegativity value 3 so uh, what is happening means the the tendency of attracting the bond pair of electrons is stronger uh, is having, uh, if suppose the, the atom is having a stronger electron, uh, electronegativity means it is strongly attracting the bond pair of electrons. So bond, uh, as the electrons are unequally shared, unequally shared, uh, the co covalent bond becomes polar covalent bond. Why? Because the poles are created, the poles are created. Here, you can see here, here, uh, the oxygen will get, here, this atom, the blue color atom will get negative charge, partial negative charge and uh, this atom, the purple color atom gets partial positive charge, partial positive charge. Here, this one will get negative charge okay now see here uh, here 
pure covalent bond whenever the electronegativity difference is zero it is electronegativity difference is between the two atoms is 0 to 0.4 the it will be a pure covalent bond whenever from 0.4 to 2.0 it becomes polar covalent bond means partial negative charge is developed that is uh, oxygen is getting uh, the uh, atom which is attracting the bond pair of electrons it gets negative charge and the atom which is losing the uh, uh, partially losing the bond pair of electrons get positive charge and here if it is completely electrons are completely lost by an atom then it gets a positive charge forming a cation and the atom which is gaining the electron is called as anion the atom which is gaining the electron uh, which is losing the electron is gets a positive charge and it is called as cation and the atom which gains the electron is called as anion so the electrostatic force of attraction between the two ions is called as ionic bond so ionic bonds forms from from which value means whenever the electronegativity negativity value uh, exceeds from 2.4 no 2.0 2.0 whenever the electronegativity value exceeds the value of 2.0 electronegativity difference value is exceeds 2.0 then what happens the bond becomes ionic whenever it is ranging between 0.4 to 2.0 it is polar covalent bond and if the uh, electronegativity difference is from 0 to 4 0 to 0.4 then it will be a pure covalent bond pure covalent bond let us uh, have one example that is here suppose homonuclear atoms such as uh, f2 molecule f2 molecule in the f2 molecule both the atoms are having electronegativity uh, uh, it, uh, f2 molecules uh, both the fluorine atoms are bonded by covalent bond pure covalent bond here fluorine atom one fluorine atom and the um, other fluorine atom the both the atoms ha are having electronegative electronegative value as how much four this is also having a four value and this is also having a 4 value for both of the fluorine atoms it is having electronegative value is 4 so electronegative uh, electronegative difference between the two atoms electronegativity difference between the two atoms 4 minus 4 becomes 0 becomes it, it becomes equal to 0 so uh, that is electronegativity difference between the two atoms is 0 that is in all the homonuclear atoms that is uh, the fluorine f2 molecule h2 molecule n2 molecule or in all the homonuclear molecules the electronegativity difference is zero so uh, bond pair of electrons are equally shared between the two atoms so it is a pure covalent bond that is non polar covalent bond it forms a homonuclear molecules forms here pure covalent mole, uh, molecules that is non-polar covalent molecules okay now next is electron displacement effects in covalent bonds in order to understand the organic chemistry mechanism how the chemical bonds are forming on breaking how the chemical reactions are involved in the organic chemistry we have to have a good idea about uh, electronic displacement in covalent bonds in the organic uh, to understand the organic chemistry now see here here the electronegativity the fluorine the chlorine atom is what uh, highly electronegative atom compared to carbon atom so the chlorine attracts the bond pair of electrons from carbon atom and it gets a partial negative charge 
and carbon gets a partial positive charge and this carbon atom which is get, getting a partial positive charge attracts the uh, a bond pair of electrons of the next carbon atom which is involving in the covalent bond so the uh, what happens uh, the slowly bond polarization the displacement of the electrons is taking place uh, taking place with, uh, involving Co uh, with respect to the covalent bond the uh, electronic displacement is taking place with respect to the sigma bond so this type of uh, movement of uh, electronic uh, electronic movements uh, helps in the reaction mechanism of the organic chemistry okay now electronic displacement in organic chemistry may take place either in the ground state under the influence of an atom or a substituent group or in the presence of appropriate attacking reagent okay this electronic displacement may take place in the presence of uh, in the neutral medium as well as in the presence of in the presence of a attack appropriate, appropriate attacking reagent now electronic displacement due to the uh, due to the influence of an atom or substituent group present in a molecule causes a permanent polarization of a bond that is uh, when, uh, here whenever the electronic displacement is taking place the electronic displacement may take place due to the presence of attacking reagent appropriate attacking reagent or else it is due to the presence of substituent whenever there is a uh, electronic displacement is taking place due to the presence of substituent uh, here the example just like example here the chlorine atom is a electronegative atom which is substituted on a alkyl group that is uh, alkyl in this alkyl group the electronegative chlorine atom is substituted so this type of substituent causes a permanent polarization of bond whereas uh, the polarization which is which is taking place in presence of attacking reagent appropriate attacking reagent that is uh, due to the uh, that is also that is called as um, electromeric effects okay now the permanent electron displacement effect is called as inductive effect resonance effect okay next is temporary electron displacement effect are seen in are seen in electromeric effects okay the permanent uh, electron displacement effect is all called as inductive effect and resonant effect that is due to the presence of substituent and uh, uh, the temporary that means electronic displacement in presence of in presence of a substituent uh, attacking reagent uh, uh, is taking place then such type of electro uh, electronic displacements in presence of attacking reagent are called as electromeric effect okay mm -hmm. that is here the example here this is the covalent bond is there this is the covalent bond molecule this is the covalent mo mo molecule that is a double bonded uh, uh, carbon atom the two carbon atoms are bonded by uh, double bond when attacking reagent such as H plus is coming close to the double bond then what happens the pi bond undergoes a cleavage leading to the formation of positive charge that is electronic movement the total uh, pi electrons which are involved in the pi bond move towards the one of the atom one of the carbon atom so leading to the formation of positive charge and negative charge whatever the negative charge which is formed is neutralized by the h plus ion so negative charge is neutralized by the h plus ion and positive charge is uh, formed on this carbon atom leading to the formation of carbocation means uh, carbon atom with positive charge is called as carbocation now let us discuss discuss the topic inductive effect okay 
inductive effect this topic is very important to understand the organ chemistry okay this is very important along inductive effect resonance effect and uh, uh, next is hyperconjugation effects these are the electronic effects you have to understand well to in order to understand the organic chemistry re reaction mechanism now inductive effect may be defined as a permanent displacement of electrons forming covalent bond towards the more electronegative element or a group if you see your the chlorine atom the chlorine atom is a is highly electronegative atom which is get, which is attracting the bond pair of electron that is the bond between the carbon and chlorine is there the carbon and chlorine which is unequally shared and the bond pair of electrons are coming close to the coming close to the the aromatic repre represents coming electrons are coming moving towards the chlorine atom so chlorine gets a partial negative charge this partial negative charge okay next is the as the the electro uh, the carbon gets a pos partial positive charge now this partial positive charge attracts the bond pair of electrons between this carbon atom and this carbon atom okay the next carbon atom and this carbon atom so oh, as it gets a positive charge so it also gets a positive charge on this carbon atom this positive charge attracts the bond pair of electrons between the hydrogen and carbon and it is also attracts the electronic uh, electrons bond pair of electrons from the next carbon so the electronic movement is taking place you can see here you can you have to observe that is here uh, the bond polarization the arrow mark is bigger this bigger uh, arrow mark represents the electro electronic displacement that is more bond polarization is taking place to a greater extent to a greater extent that is here the main electronegative atom is there so here the as compared to the arrow mark between carbon and chlorine here the uh, arrow mark is decreased decrease this decrease in the arrow mark represents decrease in the bond polarization so here the positive charge is there the positive charge is neutralized by the bond polarization between the carbon atom and carbon atom to a some extent and this positive charge again neutralizes the positive charge uh, this positive charge again neutralizes by the electronic displacement between the hydrogen atom and carbon carbon atom so the slowly the electronic displacement is taking place here the electrons here electrons are moved from here here this is getting a positive charge partial positive charge this positive charge is partially neutralized by this one carbon carbon so here the next this positive charge is neutralizing by hydrogen atom and the next carbon atom okay this is the very important topic you have to understand uh, in order to understand organic chemistry okay now inductive effect represents the represented by is the symbol the arrow uh, pointing towards the more electronegative atom more electronegative atom element or group of elements the arrow mark represents the uh, represents the it's pointing towards the more electronegative atom okay now this is this is the, uh, this one i have explained to you just now that is uh, electronegativity the bond polarization is taking place like this here like this here carbon uh, chlorine again this positive charge is neutralizing by the carbon carbon delta 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 uh, as the delta increases the partial positive charge decreases partial positive charge decreases here only single delta represents it is it is having partial positive charge to a greater extent as the delta uh, uh, as the delta values increases 
the partial positive charges decreases okay that is uh, inductive effect decreases as the ch uh, carbon chain increases as inductive effect decreases as the carbon chain increases okay now the polarization of c cl bond trans transmits the further polarization of uh, through the sigma bond network the, the polarization of cc uh, carbon chlorine bond uh, represents what represents the polarization it transmit it transmit for the polarization of a sigma bond framework Okay, I have just now I have explained you in the case of uh, one chlorobutane. This is the one chlorobutane. Uh, inductive effect may be represented as above. Okay, this polarization results in the partial positive charge on the carbon atom, which is slightly getting neutralized by the positive charge uh, electronic moment done by the next carbon atoms okay now in turn the carbon one draws a positive charge towards it from the adjacent carbon atom just now i have explained you in this way the polar ccl bond induces polarity in the adjacent bonds okay such polarization of sigma bond caused by the polarization of of the adjacent bond is called as inductive effect this effect is passed on the substituent bond also but also but uh, the effect decreases rapidly as the number of intervening bond increases that is this effect, uh, this uh, inductive effect decreases as the length of the carbon chain increases okay Indu inductive effect is related to related totally total ability of the substituent to either withdraw or donate the electron density to the attached carbon atom see here one new uh, it is depending on the substituent itself that is one some of the uh, substances are electron withdrawing here chlorine is electron withdrawing that is it is attracting the bond uh, uh, well, uh, it is attracting the electronic phase through the sigma bond and this alkyl group alkyl group is supplying the electron density so the chlorine is called as electron withdrawing group whereas uh, uh, alkyl group this carbon chain group is called as electron donating group okay now based on the ability of the substituents can be classified as electron donating and electron withdrawing group relative to hydrogen with uh, taking hydrogen as reference we can divide the uh, groups in the in the electron withdrawing groups and in the uh, classified in the form of uh, electron withdrawing groups as well as in the electron uh, releasing group that is electron donating groups taking hydrogen as reference now see here electron donating group they are donating substituents electron donating substituents here you should not surprise that is oxygen with negative charge oxygen any atom with negative charge can supply the electron density so as it is having a more electron density that oxygen with negative charge that is oxide can supply the electron density to the uh, in the carbonic chain okay the alkyl group is also electronic supplying group the coordinate group that is coo minus Carbo carboxylate group is also electron releasing group okay now next is electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing groups are electron withdrawing groups of electronegative groups that is so f minus cl minus f minus cl minus br minus i minus o minus h oh minus 
and NH2, SR. These are the groups which are electron withdrawing. Means these are attracting the bond pair of electron toward itself. Okay. Here, F minus, C, Cl minus, Br minus, I. These are all electron withdrawing groups. You have to remember the carboxylic acid group, ester group, and uh, uh, ketonic group, nitrile group, nitro group, and SO2, sulfonic group. These all groups are electron withdrawing groups, which are very important. Okay. Electron withdrawing group with respect to inductive effect. Okay, some examples to electron donating groups are methyl group, that is a methyl group, ethyl group and uh, any group, any atom with uh, negative charge is also uh, said to be electron releasing group, that is electron donating group. Next is some examples of electron withdrawing groups that is halides, nitro groups, nitrile group. So that is nitro group means cyano group, carboxylic acid group, ester group, and uh, alkoxy group, uh, eroxyl group are the electron withdrawing group because of the oxygen atom is there. Oxygen atom is attracting the bond pair of electrons. Okay. Now, bond polariz polarization and inductive effect. Now, see here. Indic minus inductive effect groups carbon fluorine bond the bond between carbon fluorine bond carbon fluorine bond carbon oxygen bond here the arrow mark represents the inductive effect inductive effect minus inductive effect of the fluorine atom and uh, it's because of the minus inductive effect of the fluorine atom Fluorine gets partial negative charge and carbon gets partial positive charge. Next is uh, minus because of minus inductive effect of the chlorine atom. The chlorine atom gets partial negative charge and uh, the carbon atom gets partial positive charge. See here, in, uh, here is the same case. Your oxygen atom being electronegative, it attracts the bond pair of electron toward itself. So negative, it represents a negative inductive effect because of negative inductive effect, oxygen gets negative charge and carbon gets positive charge. That is, these are the examples of minus inductive effect. Minus inductive effect is nothing but uh, this uh, fluorine, fluorine, oxygens are electron withdrawing groups. Represents minus inductive effect. Okay. Now, let us talk about the positive inductive effect. Here, in the positive inductive effect, uh, electron re releasing groups are, uh, are present. Electron, due to the presence of electron releasing groups, uh, the positive inductive effect is, for, uh, is uh, formed. Okay. Here, compared to carbon, hydrogen is more electron on positive that is carbon is more electronegative here due to the increase of positive uh, hydrogen atoms what happens the group becomes more electropositive and carbon becomes more electronegative so as the number of hydrogen atoms increases the electropositivity increases uh, compared to this carbon atom so this hydrogen atom releases electron towards the uh, electron towards the carbon so, whenever the bond between the carbon and hydrogen is there, the, whenever the bond between the carbon and hydrogen is there, carbon is more electronegative and hydrogen is more electropositive. So, this is more electronegative means this is less ele electronegative. So, uh, the bond polarization will take place such that electronic movement, movement towards the carbon atom. Carbon atom. So, here, Hydrogen gets partial positive charge and the carbon gets partial negative charge. Here is the same, same case. The CH3 group, this carbon gets partial 
positive charge and carbon atom gets partial negative charge and here here on this group also carbon atom with test uh, with three alkyl groups gets positive charge and the carbon this carbon atom gets partial negative charge here with the increase of uh, number of hydrogen atoms here only single hydrogen atom is supplying supplying uh, electronic electrons towards the carbon atom this carbon atom whereas here as the number of hydrogen atoms are increasing so uh, positive inductive effect increases here with the introduction of three alkyl groups on the this carbon atom the uh, number of hydrogen atoms increased so the positive inductive effect increased to a greater extent okay now let us discuss about types of inductive effect just now we have discussed the electron donating groups electron donating groups act uh, shows the positive inductive effect whereas electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group shows as shows minus inductive effect that is electron donating group represents positive inductive effect whereas electron withdrawing group shows minus inductive effect negative inductive effect okay now if the substituent y if the substituent y substituted on the carbon atom is electron donating that is electron reducing electron donating then y atom acquires positive charge because as it uh, uh, donating the electron density or releasing the electron density what happens it loses the positive it loses the electron density so it acquires positive charge such inductive effect is known termed as positive inductive effect and the examples are o minus and ch3 carbo uh, carbo uh, carboxylic acid group carboxylate ion group what happened o o minus we, we uh, as oxygen is bearing the negative charge oxide ion is bearing the negative charge in, because of excess electron density on the ox oxygen ion it want to donate the electron density so it will uh, you know uh, uh, just by donating the electron density it uh, uh, loses the electron density it decreases the electron density to some extent whereas cs3 alkyl group donates the electron density and acquires positive charge and carboxylate ion being uh, as it is having a negative charge on the oxygen atom it want to release the electron density to in order to uh, neutralize the negative charge now here why the y atom the y atom is electron is acting as electron donating group because of that it is uh, it shows the positive inductive effect it shows the positive inductive effect okay if the substituent x if the substituent x bonded to the carbon atom is electron withdrawing then x atom acquires negative charge because it is gaining the electron density it is withdrawing the electron density as it is acquiring uh, it is uh, gaining the electron density from the uh, carbon chain it gets a negative charge such examples are fluorine chlorine and um, highly negative uh, electronegative groups because as they are having the uh, greater electronegativity the electronegativity is nothing but tendency of attracting the bond pair of electron towards itself so the fluorine chlorine and bromine these all groups we are, are, are bearing more higher uh, greater electron withdrawing tendency that is greater electronegativity effect because of that what happens it act it want to withdraw the electron density it want to withdraw the electron density because of that it act as shows the it shows the negative inductive effect negative inductive effect okay this is the carbon and this is the x atom now 
the carbon electron density is moving means electron density is moving towards the oxygen means oxygen is uh, attracting the electron density whereas here in the positive inductive effect uh, y is donating the electron density because of that it is showing the positive inductive effect whereas here negative inductive effect means it is uh, attracting the electron density from the carbon it is attracting the electron density because of that as it uh, attracting the electron density electrons are being negatively charged because of that uh, because uh, because of that as it gains the electron density toward itself it becomes it acquires negative charge it acquires negative charge because of that what happens uh, it uh, because of negative charge it is called as minus inductive effect or negative inductive effect okay and the examples for the negative inductive effect are the uh, the fluorine chlorine and bromine iodine means atoms which are bonded to the carbon atom the uh, atom or a group which is bonded to the carbon atom bearing highly electronegative groups bearing highly electronegative groups so chlor um, fluorine chlorine bromine iodine oxygen oxygen is the highest high electronegative atom uh, nitrogen sulfur uh, this carboxylic carboxylic acid group is have bearing with two ox uh, oxygen atoms and carboxylic uh, esters are also having two oxygen atoms because of the, uh, more electro uh, oxygen because of this oxygen atoms which are having the more electron density it is having as it is having a uh, more el uh, electronegativity greater electronegativity it act uh, it makes the such type of group uh, to act as electron withdrawing substance okay even double bond triple bond uh, the functional group act as negative uh, act as electron withdrawing group why the triple bond and double bond act as a uh, electron withdrawing group means the uh, because of triple bond the in the triple bond the carbon is having a sp hybridization as the s character as the s character in the hybridization incre increases as the s character increases electronegativity increases because of that uh, the triple bond triple bond triple bonded carbon atom is having more electron density more electronegativity compared to double bonded carbon atom double bonded carbon atom is having a sp2 hybridization whereas uh, the carbon with all sigma bonds so the carbon with all sigma bonds is having a sp3 hybridization and the yes in the sp3 hybridization s character is very less because of that it is having very less electronegativity compared to the carbon atoms having multiple bonds 